this. We used to live in a time when you was a scholar. You automatically was a scholar warrior. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Chancellor Williams and John Jackson, you understand right, what I'm talking about? Right, right, Dr. Right. Ben and Dr. Clark You're and right. Amos Wilson, right. you was automatically, right. Ivan Vance, you was automatically right. a warrior. warrior. That's right, bro. But in the 21st century, we went from scholar activists to scholar capitalists. Wow. That's right. Umar Abdullah Johnson. My name is Brother Umar Abdullah Johnson. I'm a nationally certified school psychologist. I'm one of the brothers, one of the few brothers, who tests and evaluates our children to see whether or not they have learning disabilities and if they need special education. And to all the young folks who are out there, I want you to know that you really don't have a learning disability. Your, your issue is that you're not motivated. You're not motivated to do your best. You lack ambition, you lack discipline, and you lack dedication. Is because we don't have a future created for our children. Yes, sir. If we had a future created for our children, they wouldn't even be in their schools. And if they're not in their schools, and if we had jobs for yes, them, sir. they wouldn't even need their diploma. Yes, in other words, you can have a total independent reality right here in America if right. you had your own institutions. You see? So I'm agreeing with you. We want. We want. But the problem is what? The leadership is self serving and does not believe in sacrificing. I want you to understand something. You're supposed to judge all black people by five things. These are the five C's. Number one, consciousness. How much do you know about what we're going through? How knowledgeable are you about the current state of the race? Not just in America, but globally. Consciousness. Number two, courage. It doesn't matter how conscious you are if you are a coward. We have a lot of scholars who are cowards. They have all kinds of books. They give all kinds of speeches, but you will never, ever, 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 ever catch them at any neighborhood function to face the system and bring about some, are you with me? I want to be clear about that, okay? So courage. The next one is commitment. You might have a brother who ain't afraid to rumble the system, but if you can only find him once a year, what good is he? Right, right, right. And you know who had the biggest issue with commitment? Opportunists. Right. Because opportunists only come out of the bush when there's something in it for them. That's right, that's right. Are you with me? Right. Yeah. Consciousness, courage, commitment. Number four, consistency. Yes. Hello. Yes. Are you with me now? Yes. Are you with me now? You was a nationalist for 40 years, and now you were integrationist. <laughs> executive branch of the United States government attacking and criticizing every president for 40 years and now we got one with a black daddy he never knew you would have been his friend. <laughs> Consistency, you opportunists. <laughs> and the fifth one, creativity. What are you creating to help us resurrect a new reality for ourselves. Yes, See, I want you to understand, what we doing today, this is preparation for struggle. This ain't struggle. Yeah. Right, right, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Value your education. Our ancestors died for it. I understand that there's things wrong with it, but the only way you're going to be able to fix it is to get what they have to give you and then come back into the system, infiltrate it, and make it what we need it to be for our own. I understand that you don't like school, but school is not the same as education. School is a process of trying to break you and make you into an African American. But education is that self-learning and self-teaching that you're going to give to yourself to make yourself back into an African and a Pan-African and a Pan-African nationalist on top of that. Black man, I don't want to see you in special education. Black woman, I don't want to see you pregnant without a husband. Black man, I don't want to see you on psychotropic drugs. Black woman, I don't want to see you walking around with HIV and AIDS because you failed to protect yourself spending time with a man just because you needed to feel some attention as opposed to spending time with a king because the two of you are on a mission. Black man, I don't want to see you effeminized and homosexualized. Black woman, I don't want to see you lesbianized. So I want you to slow down, take your time, stop trying to be an adult before the time comes. Adulthood will come. You're a child for 18 years. Enjoy those 18 years because once you hit 18, 
You will be an adult for the rest of your life until you rejoin your ancestors. And when you lose people who you love and when you lose people who you care about, it's okay to cry and let the pain out. But I want you to understand you're crying because your thinking is in the wrong direction. No African who leaves this earth is ever dead. The body dies, but even the body doesn't die. The body simply goes back to the earth from which it came and the spirit goes back to the ancestors and the creator from which it came. So if you ever lost anybody who you love, then we will all lose people who we love. Understand that they are now freed from the constraints of the physical body and that they are now freer to work with you, to look out for you, and to be on behalf of you. And so when you think you heard your grandmama, when you think you heard your mama, your father call out to you who are now deceased, that wasn't a hallucination. They were coming to you. Understand that we are God's first people. We are Africans put here two and a half million years before anybody else even knew what Africa was or what humanity was. And because we are God's first people, we have a divine connection to a divine consciousness that we can evoke at will at a second's notice to help us fix this nonsense. The reason we are where we are because we refuse to accept the fact that we are one with our creator.